Hello, I'm Karen Middleton. I'm the Chief Allied Health Professions Officer for the Department of Health in England. Um, I'm also a physiotherapist. My specialism was musculoskeletal medicine and I'm still registered with the HCPC. I want to talk a bit about informatics, um, the whole informatics agenda, but really relate it to my personal story. Um, and when I was a physiotherapist working clinically, um, we certainly didn't call the subject informatics, but very much the use of technology, records, data, patient information was an inherent part of my clinical practice. And I can honestly say that um, I absolutely got engaged with the whole informatics agenda um, quite naturally because I saw it as part of my clinical practice. Um, as a clinical manager and as a general manager, I also used information a huge amount in terms of service planning, workforce planning, education and training commissions, understanding the variation across the services that I was responsible for. When I came to have a national role, um, it's been fascinating to me how disinterested I have become in the whole informatics agenda. And I think that's because my coming to uh, a national post at the department perhaps coincided with when this whole subject became uh, a special subject in terms of informatics. So um, we have an information department, we have an informatics centre, we have information strategies rather than information being part of all the other clinical strategies that the department publishes. And I rather saw informatics as someone else's business. Um, usually a different department, um, some really geeky people there uh, talking a language which I didn't understand. Over the last two years I've had uh, much more insight to the value again of grasping this agenda. And um, that's through conversations with clinicians, um, professional organisations, clinical managers, commissioners, and it's really got me to understand why we have to set informatics and the digital technology agenda right back centre stage with clinical practice. I've been chairing the National Allied Health Professions Informatics Strategic Task Force, whose role is really to publicise the information strategy that came out in May, and also to really get clinicians engaged with the agenda, in our case, of course, the allied health professionals. And I suppose there's a number of areas where I think that it's really important that we appreciate the value. Uh, first of all, in terms of our own clinical practice, um, it's invaluable in terms of understanding what you do and the, and the difference you make. If you can't articulate that, if you can't demonstrate it, if you haven't got the data to prove it, your services are not going to be commissioned. It's also important to understand when there's variation between patient, the outcomes that patients uh, achieve. Um, more widely, it's, more, it's important to understand why there's variation across a service. And again, that comes back to data and information. It's also important, as clinicians know, to be able to share best practice, and, and information is key to be able to, to, be able to do that. Secondly, there's uh, communication. Uh, Again, absolutely crucial in a world where patients have to take centre stage and they need to be able to make choices about their clinical care, where they get that clinical care from, and they need information to do so. So we must convert the data that we produce into information that's relevant, not only to patients but also to commissioners. Commissioners will be purchasing your services based on the information they have about those services. So it's absolutely vital that you are being able, uh, are able to uh, demonstrate what you inherently know about your service in a way that, that uh, commissioners can see. Um, I also think what's important about information for patients is that the way that we've done things in the past is no longer um, the way of the future. And the next generation are, as we all know, very much used to um, communicating using digital technology than perhaps the rest of us are. And, and that's going to be the future for uh, uh, informing our patients, informing the public about our services. 
Recently, I've started using Twitter and it's enabled me to communicate in a way I never thought possible with the 86,000 AHPs in England um, so that I get immediate feedback on work I'm involved in. I can sit in a meeting about a particular policy and tweet to test out some ideas and I'll get immediate feedback. That's the sort of technology, that's the value of the technology that's available to us now. And lastly, in terms of productivity, I think one of the issues that comes up all the time when I'm out in the service is how demand is increasing. And we know that that will continue to do so. With uh, restrained resources, it's very, very difficult to know how we're going to meet that demand. Digital technology, informatics can really help in terms of managing that demand. So we don't necessarily have to be hands-on with every single patient. Um, the value of telehealth, telecare, telemedicine, it's huge in terms of the way forward. And I think that uh, it will change clinical practice and you need to be on the front foot around this. The last point really to make is that there isn't someone else in another room that's gonna do this for us. Um, it's basically down to you, me, and all the other AHPs to take this agenda forward. And I think it would be very easy for us to locate the action that needs to take place with the information department or the informatics geeks. But actually, what's crucial to this agenda and making it relevant is for you to take this agenda forward locally in terms of embracing informatics, digital technology, and really looking at how you can influence locally uh, what happens in order to make best use of it in your individual clinical practice collectively and in your communication with patients and commissioners. This is crucial because I do not want allied health professionals to be on the back foot with this agenda. We know that every other clinical profession is really running with this whole agenda and AHPs must be up there in the race too.